Hello everyone, it's me here, Hamsters11, and today I'm going to be um, showing you how to make a keypad on the iOS SDK for my phone and iPad. So I start off by creating a view-based application on the application tab and press next. I'll call it um, keypad21. I'll press create. Okay, now um, to start off, we're going to go to the XOB, which is here. We're going to go to view utilities and object library okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna create a simple keypad layout okay so now I've created a simple layout um if you don't know how the how to do that you open the objects library here uh, you can place labels and buttons in it then you can change some information here like here I change the minimum font to 30 and the, to red here yeah, that's what I'm going to show you now. Um, okay, so now we're going to go into the dot age, which is this one. We're going to get two functions. One is uh, going to be outside of these um, curly braces. It's this is how you make it. I'm going to call the function button press to the, and it's going to take the parameters send the ID sender. Okay, so inside there's going to be an IB outlet. Which is a label, and it's going to be called label. We shall call it label. Yeah. Um. So now you will need to go back into the .xib, um, drag all of these ones into here, and make it button pressed by control dragging. If you didn't know. Okay, so there. Um, now I've linked everything. You, to when you drag it here, you're getting the actions, and when you drag it out, you're putting the outlets, outputs. So there. Um. Now we're going to go into the dot m, where we don't really need all that, but <coughs> I just put a few things. We're going to define the action that we made, which is um, button pressed. We're going to put it in some this. We're gonna put up up here a uh, variable of type in a string, and it's gonna be called text, because I can't write s. <coughs> so now we're gonna what we're gonna do when the button is pressed. When the button is pressed, this is gonna happen. So we're gonna set um label set text um text. Did I spell that wrong? Yes. Maybe that will work. Um, yeah, um, so what we're going to do now is <coughs> we need to um, actually set what text is equal to because right now it's just equal to nothing. <coughs> so we're going to go text equals and then in square braces um, text string by appending string and we're going to append the string sender and when you send the sender it will the senders, um, what it will return is this stuff here. So you could put title, image, background, font, all that type of stuff. You could get what it is um, from the sender thing. But we, what we want is a current title. If you wanted to, you could get the image or font, as I said. Um, but right now we just want a current title. So there. Um, so now, when we run this, we'll get. Let me just think of anything I've forgotten. I don't think there's anything I've forgotten. Um, see. So it's almost run. Um. There, so we should get. Hmm. So nothing's happening. Let me just check why that is. Okay, I found the problem that was there. Um, 
So before, when we declared in a string text, it was just this. What it needs to actually be is this. So it actually um, has a value. So now when we run it, um, it will say all oh, this. If you want to, you can also um, limit it by putting uh, if so if um text length length is um less if is less than or equal to five or seven or something then it will do that otherwise it will just not do anything so now if we do it um it will just say and you can get to eight values um and then it will just stop so yeah, I think that's all. Yep, bye.